And there was another homecoming today after two weeks on the East Coast, helping restore power to more than 23,000 customers in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. Three linemen from PG&E are back home in Bakersfield. The workers are now telling us about their experience, bringing light to the dark devastation. Anybody see them around? Uh, the fears were definitely there going somewhere foreign. Uh, to me, East Coast is, I've never been there before and definitely heartbreaking to see, but it was it was good so we can we were helping people out turn their power on the buildings and structures uh, you can see where the water line was it was some people's houses were flooded the whole basement was flooded which was about eight feet high I think we were gone approximately 17 days we went to uh, Brooklyn and Queens started in Westchester then went to Queens for most of the duration it burnt down and it was hanging on we did a lot of primary work 14 17 27 kV all the way down to working secondary to hooking up a single person's house or even checking checking basement panels we did that for like the last day and you could see the devastation from the ocean or from, from you know the water caused a lot of damage especially in the basements uh, in Brooklyn so that was really bad you just have to like take your own little section of line and like open up in your area. You had people coming up to you and begging you to turn their power back on because it got real cold. It, it snowed at one point in time and it was real tough to to see that. I hit my head really hard on that right there. <laughs> like, went by quick as far as because you were working a lot but you had to make that call home every night. There's a lot going on is what it is. There's so many people out there working on lines. Job well done. In total, more than 150 PG&E workers were sent to the East Coast, and nine of those employees came from Bakersfield. And as you.